There are times where you want to work on your doubles game, but you don't have four people. This is a great competitive doubles drill that you can do with only two people. You're going to play cross court and you feed and you can, there's a lot of different ways and stipulations that you can put on the game to make it harder or easier to paint upon your level. So we're gonna start with the most basic. You're gonna start around the 60 foot line and Ian's just gonna feed the ball cross court and you play it out. Your goal is that both of you must move forward. Okay, so you're really working on the transition game and working on your volley game in the mid court as well as closing in towards the net like you would in doubles working on that reaction time. <laughs> Good. Now, a second variation of this would be if you both started at the baseline and you did the same thing. So now Ian's gonna feed from the baseline. Kevin can do whatever he wants with the first ball and your goal is to move forward. So it makes it a little bit more challenging because there's more space involved to move in. You wanna make sure that you hit a nice, decent feed, that you're not trying to win the point off the feed. Oh. Now, the last variation of this would be feeding from the baseline, but no alleys. So you only get the singles court. So really, it's still a doubles competitive drill, but it's all about narrowing the focus, giving you less space to work with, so that when we add in that alley, you feel like you have all the space in the world. Okay, so you can play to five, 10, whatever, and then make sure to switch feeds, and you can add in all kinds of different point play and scenarios to make it easier or harder depending upon your level.